on your own, happy, and know your worth than to be with somebody that makes you question your worth. All right, ladies, if you are single, dating, in a relationship, we need to have a girl chat. I really need you to listen up. This wisdom is gold. Now, when you're young and dating, you're not really thinking about long-term stuff, and that's okay. I know a lot of women like to go for the bad boys, and they'll settle for barely a text back and the bare minimum. The standard for dudes is getting so much lower when you're... Uh, actually, the standard for guys is not getting lower. Women's standards are getting lower. Women created the hookup culture. Women made it easy to have access to them for sex. So it's no surprise that a lot of men are not choosing to be in a relationship. Why buy the cow when you can get the milk for free? Let's just keep it 100. Standard needs to be getting so much higher. And I know that when you're young and you're dating, you're not really thinking about the long-term implications of if you do build a future with that person. So let me save you a lot of heartache and give you some wisdom that can save you. I met my now husband when I was 21 years old. He was one of the nicest, most persistent men I had ever met in my life. He, I never had to question if he was interested in me, if he wanted me, if he loved me. He was willing to do literally whatever it took to make sure that I was happy and that he held on to me. Meanwhile, I was seeing so many of my college friends settle for the absolute bare minimum from these guys because they were like bad boys and they were fun, they were exciting, whatever. Well, I ended up marrying that nice guy. We've been together for nine years. And this man has the same quality character traits that he had then, even more developed now as a 30 year old man. Let me give you a perfect example. He's on a work trip. He was just in a work meeting, texted me, hey, have you eaten lunch yet? I get pretty wrapped up in my work day and didn't think about it. I go to the front door, he has a sandwich delivered for me to make sure that I'm fed. My mom was feeling super burnt out the other day and wanted to go for a walk and realized that her sneakers had a hole in one of them. What did he do? He went online and he ordered her a pair of sneakers. My little sister had a long day at work. He texted her an encouraging text message to try and pick her up. If something needs to be done around the house, he's the first one to do it. This man showed me when he was 21 years old that he had these characteristics and now I'm with such a gem of a human being and I am so thankful that I didn't settle for any of the bad boys that were worth a chase back in the day because now I'm with somebody that treats me like a mother freaking queen and you deserve the exact same thing. So if you are settling for the bare minimum right now, if you are seeing characteristics in a person that you're interested, chasing, dating, in a relationship with, whatever, that you don't want long-term, get rid of them. There's still great men in this world and you deserve to have one of them. It is better to be on your own, happy and know your worth than to be with somebody that makes you question your worth. All right, lady. I mean, I liked a lot what you know, a lot of things that she, um, you know, she had to say. But what really stands out to me is that she met the guy when she was in college and she met him when she was really young and she was smart. She didn't play this game of, oh, you're not good enough this, you're not good enough that. She recognized that he was a good person from the beginning, and she stuck with him. Because, see, as guys go old, get older and they progress and they become more successful, you know, they, they just do a lot more. You know what I'm saying? They just kind of grow into their value. And that's what she's experiencing right now. But has she been one of those hard-headed girls back in the day that says, oh, no, I got a lot of options? Because she says nine years ago. Obviously, social media was prevalent back then, too. She didn't take that route and say, you know what? There's going to be another better guy around the corner. Yeah, he's or he's too nice or he cares too much. She saw the true value in him. And, he, and in turn, he saw the real value in her. That is why he wanted to marry her. He married her when she was young. She had less baggage. She had less strain on her heart, less strain on, on, you know, she didn't move a lot in the world and have all these things. You know, she don't have a, kids already. You know, all these type of things, they matter. And the biggest thing, one of the biggest things was she was younger. See, women, you guys tend to think you have so much time, but you really don't. You only have a small window when your value is the most impressive. And I'm not talking about your value as a human being. I'm talking about your value in the sexual marketplace. You know, the things that men value when they're looking at someone that they want to marry. Someone that they want to take seriously. Your youth has a huge part of that. But also your femininity, you know, your purity, 
all those things obviously if you're young you still have that unless you've had a hard life and things have happened and you know that's that's kind of a rarity it's not a common thing but she was smart but the thing is that even she as a woman and this is something that i keep like i keep harping on because women they tend like i said they really really think they have so much time right if you're let's say you're her age because she said that was nine years ago that means she's like 29 now 30 or something like that you're already far in the time frame of what you can do with your beauty your youth and all of that because you're 30 i think what is it 90 percent of your eggs are gone by the time you're 30 because when you're born you have like a million couple million eggs or something like that when you're born in your body yes as an infant and over time they just deplete by the time you get 30 like 90 percent of them are gone so what if you don't have children then what if you meet a guy at 30, it takes you two years to really get to know if you want to be in a committed relationship and have children. Now you're 32. How long is it going to take you to have children? You try, maybe it takes you two years. Now you're 34. At 35, you're looking at, you know, the geriatric type of pregnancy. That's when you start getting into the risk factors and all of that, that type of thing, right? And that's not to discount any health issues or anything else that you had going on before that. That is part of that mix now. So you really don't have a whole lot of time. Be smart. Don't just marry anybody, but marry the right person like she did. But you got to be smart. She did the smart thing because a lot of women her age are not doing the smart thing, didn't do the smart thing. So do the smart thing and you'll be better off. Don't wait. Don't think you have forever. And please don't run through a whole bunch of men and thinking the guy that you want to marry is going to be happy with that. The more bodies you got, the higher that count is, the more experiences you have, the less value you are, you have. And the older you are as well, the less value you have, not as a person, but in the sexual marketplace, what men are actually interested in. Good video.